Clark, the compound, runs out onto the street. Hitting an especially icy spot, he slips and smacks his head on the pavement. His consciousness fades. Sir, sir, hey guy, are you okay? What's going on? What happened? You slipped and fell pretty hard. I watched it all happen from just over there. I, I really have to go, but I, I can't remember why. It was just so pertinent, but I, I can't, I can't seem to, uh. Well, what's your name? Is there anyone I can contact to get you some help? Well, that's the thing. I can't remember my name. But the faster I remember it, the sooner I can get back to whatever it is I was doing. I have an idea. You seem like a pretty athletic dude. I think this place that all the compounds go to when they forget their name, but you're going to have to put up a fight. Welcome to the Battle of the Compounds. My name is Michael Butler. Tonight, Clark the Compound, weighing in at 285.34 grams per mole, is going up against Carl the Compound, weighing in at 284.95 grams per mole. Tonight's statistics show that the bidders are predicting Clark the Compound to win this championship due to his weight fitting the data of the mass spectrometer. When looking at the data, the largest mass to charge ratio peak shows the mass of the possible compounds the mass spectrometer is measuring. However, bidders can't be sure that Clark the Compound will win due to the discrepancies of fragmentation patterns shown on the mass spectrometer. Let's get ready to rumble! Round one, Clark Aaron versus Carl Amin. Clark Aaron wins due to his final score falling within the correct wavelength range of the IR spectroscopy. Random fact, one of the determining factors in the Aaron functional group is its conjugated pi bonds, which results in an unusual stability. This explains its ability to resonate. Round two, Clark's Alkene versus Carl's Alkane. Clark's Alkene wins due to his final score falling within the correct wavelength range of the IR spectroscopy. Random fact, due to the presence of a double bond in their carbon skeletons, alkenes are more reactive than their related alkane because it makes the molecule relatively unstable. Rotation is also restricted because of these double bonds, which results in diastereomers with different substitution patterns. Round three, Clark's alcohol versus Carl's carboxylic acid. All right, folks, this one's gonna be a close one. Clark's alcohol wins due to its final score falling within the correct wavelength range of the IR spectroscopy. Random fact, because of the presence of a hydroxyl group, Alcohols participate in hydrogen bonding. In chemical reactions, alcohols often cannot leave the molecule on their own, so they must become protonated to water, which is then a better leaving group. And Clark the Compound wins the Battle of the Compound! As promised, Clark's prize is the revealing of his name. Drumroll, please. Clark's real name is Morphe. Clark the compound, or should I say morphine, goes with his new best friend Polly, the passerby, to help relieve his sister's pain. <laughs> Sorry, what? what? I really have to go, but uh, I can't remember why. <laughs>